We are back from our trip. Thank you guys for your kindness of letting me take a week off. I desperately needed it. We've been working like crazy to get our class out, which is hopefully soon, 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 soon. Later in the video, I'm gonna give you a little update of our camping trip and our time away and how that went and a little update on Cooper and show you all the paintings I did. I did like 20 something paintings on just a few days away on a camping trip. I painted like a maniac. But first, I got the most amazing art package art supplies I've ever received in my entire life and maybe the most extravagant art supplies gift I will ever receive in my life. And I'm going to open it with you guys and test those supplies. So I just, let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. I am exploding with excitement about this package. I've been waiting for this for like a week and it has arrived. Let me tell you the story behind this package and the goodies, the very special goodies that are in this box. Let me get the hair out of my face first. So Jean Oliver has sent me an amazing package. So Jean Oliver is a friend of mine. If you do not know who Jean Oliver is, I'm gonna put a link below to her website and her Instagram and stuff because you've got to go check her out. Everything Jean does is just gorgeous, it's magical. She has a whole like business for art courses. So you need to go check that out. I mean, she's just got courses galore from tons of teachers. In fact, that's how we first met. Years ago, she reached out to me to do a class for her. It was not the right time. Also felt completely overwhelmed by it, but it is what started and planted the seed of thought of could I do that? And here I am. I've either already launched my first one or about to. I don't really know as I'm filming this. I don't know. So go check her out because you will not regret it. Instagram, website, all the stuff. She's just got so many things I can't even like talk about all of them here. There's so much. She's got beautiful like things to purchase. Her art is beautiful. Classes on and on and on. In fact, so many of you guys have reached out to me at times like, where can I get like, where are some classes I could take? And I send you to Jean. Okay, Jean got special, special art supplies from Italy. And she was posting some pictures on Instagram of these soft pastels, which I just purchased a whole bunch of soft pastels. And I was like, my eyeballs were like popping out, out of the gorgeousness of these pastels. And so she hadn't even like listed them yet on her website. It was just an announcement. So I go over, I, I message her and I'm like, hey, if you have any like broken ones that you want to send me to like test out and also to share with my audience, um, I'd love, I'd love that. She's like, I'll send you the whole set. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Now, I'm, I don't know if this is like a broken set. I'm hoping she has just sent me like pieces, but I don't know, this box is heavy. I don't know what she sent me. I'm dying to get in there. But basically, then like the next day she posted them on her website and I was, I like gulped. I was like, mm -hmm. these are like high special, special artesian things, art supplies, like they're nice. Okay, let me just put it that way. Super nice, super splurgy. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna splurge, this is the kind of thing. She is giving as a discount code. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. I'm gonna have that listed below too. 20% off, what? And she said not even just on these soft pastels, but on anything in the store. What? I mean, that is so generous. Mind blowing. So I'm gonna put that in the link below. Okay, can, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I should mention. If I think of anything, I'll pop it in, but I need to open this. Let's get the surgical blade out. Oh, thank you, Jean. I got this yesterday, but I wasn't able to open it. I thought I was gonna have to have Grady go put it in the barn because, man, it was leaning into self-control. You know what I mean? I definitely got some practice. Did I push record? <laughs> okay, yes. I did have a dream last night that I opened this and didn't film. And I was like, what? I feel like some dun 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 dun. 
music should be going on. Okay. I had a feeling this was gonna be packaged beautifully. Let me get up. Okay, there's the inside. Okay. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, Sandy, have so much fun creating. I will, okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I just don't even know. Okay, <gasps> what? Like I just, did you see how pretty this is? I mean, I kind of want to put y'all overhead to see it, but then I also like, I kind of want Jean to be able to see my reaction. It's, listen, and I will recycle every bit of this. Jean, like the amount of fun puffy stuff that you put in here, like I don't even know what to do. How do I? What is this? What did you send me, friend? Okay, holy smoke, what is this? Ugh, what? Did you send me extra things? Okay, I don't know what this is, but it is gorgeous. <gasps> okay, we'll set this here. Oh my gosh, it even has like a little dried, what is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, one of them came off. What is that? Oh, okay, right, I gotta stand up to get, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry if I'm obnoxious. <laughs> what in the world, Jean? It's too much. Oh my gosh. These things are huge. Oh my gosh, they're heavy too. I see a feather in here. I don't know what it's on, but I really like feathers. I have some feather earrings that I've made. Cooper is moaning like crazy over here. Oh my gosh. She sent me the whole set, like the whole full set. Not broken pieces. This is too much. It's too much. Oh my gosh. Guys, we are gonna have so much fun opening this. I'm trying to get to the feather. <laughs> I don't know what the feather is. Oh my gosh. I'm like, what in the world? There is more and more. Jean, you spent like $500 just on fluffy stuff. Holy oh, smart, the fluffy stuff. I'm like, what? God, there's so many of these. Oh, and they're like shaped differently. Holy smoke. It's just going on for days. There's like five million of them. And I think this is just a random feather. I think I'm gonna like make that into an earring. I really like making earrings or maybe a necklace. I'm gonna do something with that. Okay, let me put all the fluffy back. <sighs> Golly. Man, I wish Grady was here to experience this with me. Am I still recording? I need to make sure I'm recording. I'm feeling nervous. Okay. Wow. Okay, guys. I think... I think I'm going to bring you... No, let's just open them. I keep thinking I should bring y'all above, but let's... What should we open first? Okay, let's open this. Oh, that's, I think that's dried sage. Wow, I'm gonna set that right there. Ooh, my hands smell good. Okay, I don't know what this is, but that's fine. A little stick. Beautiful packaging. I knew her packaging would be gorgeous. I knew that. I knew it. I don't know what this is, but Jean, if this is extra, you're gonna be in trouble because this is already too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got more fluffy stuff. Let me bring like my fluffy. Oh my gosh, what is this? Ugh. No, Jean, what? Okay, these are her, um, does this say what this is called? I cannot believe you sent this to me. 
Oh my gosh, this is the ancient drawing materials <gasps> in red ochre. Oh my god. I'm dying. What? Okay, I'll be saving this bag. I use bags like that all the time too. Sorry about all the extra noise that's going on. Cooper, what is going on? <sighs> all this stuff is from Italy, by the way. This company hand makes this stuff for her. This is a ginormous jar. What is this? Oh, this is more fluffy. I'm gonna take that out and throw that in the trash. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Look at this drawing stick. It's like a big chunk. There's two ginormo chunks in here. This is focusing on my face. <laughs> if this doesn't film well, oh my gosh. That's gonna be fun. Man, I'm gonna get that thing like this. Okay, we're gonna test all these. Let me, okay, let, I don't know what this is for. She's gonna have to tell me what this is for. This could just be decoration, I don't know. I'll have to find out. I'm gonna change the camera view and open these with you guys and let's look at all, all the colors and then we'll color swatch them. I'm gonna get my big sketchbook so we can, cause these things are honkers. We're gonna go like this and test all the colors. Jean, you're in trouble. This was too much. This was too much. But I'm excited about it. Thank you, friend. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at these colors. I'm glad all, I didn't know all this was in here. I definitely would not have been able to sleep last night. Okay. I gotta change the battery too because it's about to die because I've gone on and on and on. Okay. All right. You're in the overhead location. Let's take a look at this first. These huge blocks. I mean, that's amazing. I cannot wait to test that. Oh boy, I'm already making a mess. So there's that. Let's just leave the lid off because that's so pretty. I feel like I probably should have a wet rag, but I think what we're gonna do is just start opening these. I wonder if I can tell some of the colors. Maybe I should just open. Let's just, I'm gonna just pick one up and open it. This is, and then that way too I can kind of document. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce these names. Amberg, yellow maybe. Hmm, how am I gonna remember this? This could be interesting. Maybe, maybe there'll be a tag on the actual cigar. So these are called pigment cigars. Oh, this one, this one did get broken. I don't know if it was maybe already broken, but that would be great if she sent me broken ones. I think I'm gonna put them in the order that I open them so then maybe I'll remember the name. I don't know, do I need to even worry about the name? I'm not sure, but that looks nice. Okay, this one's called Pink Reddish Shade. I can already tell I'm gonna like that one. I'm gonna feel a lot better about this gift if uh, they're all broken. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna break these anyway, so you know. Okay, this one is not broken. This is a gorgeous shade. Are y'all seeing how big these things are? I mean, that is a honking. I mean, that's like, you know, you can grab this thing and make really large marks. Or if you break them into pieces, these things are gonna last a long time. Like, these are not inexpensive in like any measure, but these will last a long, long time. Okay, this is called, ooh, Magnetic Black. Ooh, that's a fancy name. I like that. I remember seeing this black online and thinking, ooh, I like that. Like it's not a crazy dark black. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like I need to save all the shavings too. Yeah, like that little bit. I'm saving that little bit because I'll use that. Okay, that is so pretty. It's like a bluish. I cannot wait to test that. Beautiful. And the set that I just recently bought 
Oh, this is called Ivory Black. If I get to talking, I'm probably going to forget to show the colors. Um, the, block, the set that I just bought does not have many blues, like kind of good blues. They're more like purpley, which is not my thing. Ooh. Whoa, that's a nice charcoal black too. Wow. Ooh, this one's like a little thin one. He's cute. I love to. They're called ancient drawing materials. They do feel like that. Okay, so this one is called soft granite crayon. Hmm. There is one of these on the website that's really decently priced, um, like a like eighteen dollars or something. And I feel like it was kind of like a gray, like a really nice charcoal. Is that what this is called? Maybe that's what this is. I can't remember. That I think if you wanted to like try these out, I feel like I'm gonna be like sneezing from all this dust. I'm trying to not make a mess. Ooh, wow, that's a nice color too. Looks like a shade up from that one. I'm gonna put that there. Also went got a rag so I could have some nice uh, cleaner hands. Okay, this is called ooh, burnt sienna. Well, we already know that's gonna be a great color. I can tell these are definitely soft pastels. Ooh, that's a good color. Oh, man. Oh, that's a nice, like, orangey. I mean, guys, these things are honkers. kind of want to, like, color, put them in color things, but... Okay, now we have... Ooh, is that Foss? Fosse? Turquoise? Ooh. I'm not even, like, a turquoise person, and I'm excited. Uh... And on the website, like the blues were just amazing. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look at this color. That thing is a honker. Oh my gosh, that color, I'm dying. Holy moly, and it's just ginormous. Whoa, that is a color, wow. I mean, look at this palette. Okay, here's the other thing. These colors, whether you get just like one or two, like the palette is just stunning. Cerulean blue. Ooh, I gotta wait for that. Okay. Uh, chrome oxide light. Oh my gosh. I literally feel like I'm going to die. I cannot wait to color swatch these. Oh, man, I thought that last blue was like my favorite color. What is this? Chrome oxide light. Oh, that's an amazing green. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Okay, I was gonna wipe my hands, but this is another green, so. Oh, I better show y'all, whoops. Catridge green, maybe, Catridge. These are packaged beautifully. They're just, it feels like candies, you know, that you're opening. Um, just, they're so well done. It's just so well done. I mean, even just one cup, oh my gosh, that green. That has like a neonish color to it. It's beautiful. Let me compare these two together so you can see them. I feel like on camera it's not doing a lot, but they're definitely different. This has a yellowy. The one that I just opened has kind of got this yellowy, and then this is more of a bluey. Um, they're both neutrally. I think they're going to be nice neutrals. Turquoise green. That is the most stunning color. Okay, this next one is Lighten Red Ochre. Whoa, that's like the earth. Ooh, is that the same color as this? Yes, these two are the same color. Whoa, and look at the shape. Like they're just, they feel so like um, nature and just something that maybe you dug up out of the ground. This is Malham. Mulham, I'm pretty sure I'm just pronounced pronouncing that green. This is very like this is darker than this one than those. Very earthy. That is going to be a showstopper. I'm going to color swatch them in this order. So that's how you'll be able to go back and tell what the names of them are. This one is going to be cerulean blue. I keep picking it up. He wants to be opened. I'm going to open them.
These greens, oh man, oh, whoa, are you kidding me? Whoa, like you need s sunglasses, holy smoke. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that's crazy town blue. Wow, guys, I mean, I don't know if you can even tell how amazing that color is. Let me scoop this up for you guys. Okay, next is going to be some word I can't pronounce, burgundy apricot. I'm so glad some of these are broken because it's going to make it easier to break them. <laughs> I think some people probably would want to just keep them in their whole like form, but I want to I want smaller pieces. Oh gosh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it's Different from that in that this is to me a little dirtier. Like it's lighter and it's kind of more neutrally. Okay, this is indigo cigar compressed plant color. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's the most amazing. Oh, this is the kind of blue that I love. It's like, I don't even know how to explain that. A neutral blue. Like for me, that may be like the perfect blue. Wow. Okay, one more. Victoria, Victoria Green. Okay. Then we can get to swatching. I thought I was gonna get my big sketchbook, but I decided just to get the normal size. I may end up switching, but we'll see. I can't wait to see the texture, feel the texture of these. Ooh, this one's especially dusty. Let me put it over the trash can. Okay, look at that. These greens are just stunning. This is the lightest one in the bunch. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, could this be more stunning? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Wow. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's make room and make sure we're recording. Let's bring the sketchbook over. I'm going to put these up here and I'm going to swatch them in the order. Let's see, how can we do this? I'm going to swatch them in the order that I opened them. Okay, let's first start with our ancient, what is this called? Drawing material. This big hunker. I have a feeling this is just going to be delightful to even just use. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The marks you could get with that. That color is stunning. Oh, the other thing about these is you can wet them. So, I think what I'll do is make a bunch of marks and then we'll wet it and see what things look like wet. Okay, that color is hello lovely. Now let's do this yellowy color. They are buttery smooth. I cannot even tell you how, s the smoothness is stunning. They're very soft. Oh my gosh, yeah. Look at that. Guys, these are too much. Wow, oh my gosh, that pink. Wow, that's darker and brighter than what I thought it was gonna be. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Gosh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these. I just barely, I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay, here's one of those kind of gray, bluey gray colors. God, that's nice. Very, it's gray, but it's blue. Wow. The next one, a little bit darker. Okay, let me dust this off in my trash can. Hold on. The other gray that I have is a little bit darker. Ooh, that's nice. God, these are the most gorgeous grays, bluey grays. This is nice. Jeez. Golly, I'm gonna use this right here. The, one of those three I'm gonna start using for sketching on my canvas. God, that's nice. I mean, these are prim, prima, 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 amazing. Now, another earthy color. I'll bring that over here. Oh, super nice orange. 
I love how neutral. They're not like in your face. They're just gorgeous colors. Okay, next. Oh, are y'all ready for this? I don't even know if I'm ready for how amazing this is going to be. They just go down so nice. Oh, man. I'm going to go back to a boat dock today or tomorrow that I'm going to be sketching, and I'm taking these. I may just take these, and that's it. Golly. Guys, I mean, I remember kind of being shocked at the price of these, but they are so amazing. The colors could not be better. And these sticks are going to last a long time. Okay, there's that kind of lighter green. Here's that next green. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding? It's so nice. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like I've had my mind just blown. Okay, then how about this? Let's put it over here next to that blue. I'm so picky about blues. And these are amazing. Okay, let me dust this off again. There's a lot of dust uh, from opening that package and all that, and I'm not sneezing or coughing, which really surprises me. Okay, here, I wish I had left room for the... See, I should have put all these in the order, or like color families, but um, I didn't want to lose the name. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the same color. Yes, this was that big block. These two are the same. Okay. I'm glad I have a lot of that color because it's nice. Okay, this green, I have a feeling is going to just be a mess. Oh, yes. It's so neutrally green. Golly. I am so picky about my greens and blues. Holy smoke. I'm going to be using that 20% off discount for reorders. <laughs> Gene, will you let me reorder? 20% off. Okay. That... I thought I was gonna be able to pick like my favorite colors. Literally, I could not pick my favorite color right now. Whew. Okay, let's see what this is gonna be like. Wow. This, these two right here are a little similar. If I was splurging, I was gonna buy multiple colors, I maybe would not get both of those blues. And this and this are kind of similar too. Okay, now this blue, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if this is going to be, let me wipe my hands off, a little purpley. This one's a little scratchier. Maybe I'm not using it right. Let me use this. I am finding in the soft pastels, it seems like the darker colors are scratchier. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, this is a nice light, neutrally. Okay, let's get my water brush and let's wet these. Before I share a little about our trip, I did want to tell you, I've been testing those soft pastels now, jeans pastels, for quite a while. And I love them. They are on the pricey side, so I do want you to know that in future videos, I have more pastels coming. I've been trying all different brands, so I have still really nice ones and also some cheaper ones. So if you're like, this is out of the universe of my realm, I hear you. They are pricey and they are luxurious. But I do have others that I've been testing. I've been loving soft pastels lately. I did also want to tell you one of the things I've been finding out when I use a slightly textured paper, I don't have nearly the dust and I'm mainly using my soft pastels out when I'm doing landscape stuff. Yeah, so I use them a lot on our camping trip too. And I'm gonna show you those paintings. I did a ton of sketches, paintings, drawings, a ton. I just painted like a maniac. That was just what I needed to do was create. That's how I felt on the trip. Please, nobody bother me. Don't ask me to do anything. I just need to create, which is what I did. We had a great time away. The weather wasn't great, but we didn't really care. It was nice. It was cloudy, rained some. Um, Cooper did great. We were a little worried about him getting in and out of the camper and in and out of the truck. 
and he just did great. We upped his pain meds on the trip and he did really good with it. Had a little more spunk come back to him, which made me realize how bad he was doing. So he had a great camping trip too. I don't know if that will be his last one or not, but it was really sweet for him to be able to be there with us and have him at least for another camping trip. We just greatly enjoyed him. And yeah, it was just restful. It was really rejuvenating, which is what I needed. I even took an Instagram break, which I didn't plan to do. I just did. I was like, man, I just don't want to pick up my phone or anything. I just wanted to get out in nature and create. And so that was nice to have that little break too. I have literally never taken an Instagram break since I started posting regularly on Instagram, which is kind of weird. Okay, let me jump into the paintings that I did on the camping trip. And then when we come back, I will wet swatch those, or, or um, I will wet those swatches of the soft, of Jean's soft pastels and we'll try those. Ooh, ooh, which is really fun to do. And you're gonna see a lot of soft pastel stuff in these sketches and paintings that I did. So let me show them to you. Are we going? I look like a mess. Basically, I had to like get limbs and stuff because it's just not because it's been so windy. I'm getting stuff in my eye. Oh no. I always get stuff in my eye when you're filming. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Okay, so let me start with the worst. I decided to abstract that area over there where all those limbs, you know, where they're all piled up. It didn't go well, but it was a lot of fun. There's that. Okay, put the stick back. Day. <laughs> uh, you may think, oh no, you're getting them dirty. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This was, um, the sky's been going crazy. So I did one, that one, kind of more of just the sky. <laughs> and then I did this one. I may do some more to this, but I need to see if I like it just how it is. So there's that. I feel like it needs some more, but I just don't know yet. And I'm feeling tired. It's the end of the day. I've already been up here this morning all day painting. So, time to clean up. Hope you can hear me. I'll be back soon. Oh, I guess I'm back. If you're watching this, I'm back. <laughs> Great. I'm going to clean up. He's been out fishing. Okay, I'm not going to do things in order because I just can't remember the order. I mean, I do have dates on some of these. This is one of my favorite little ones. I don't know what size this is, but about that size. Uh, but I loved how it turned out. Just um, We went to a local park, park several times that I really liked, and they had a lot of bridges. And I like the simplicity and just kind of the clouds and stuff of this one. This was another one from that same park trying to capture the bridges there was a tree that was down that i really liked there was another bridge some canoes so i just was doing these super super fast using what all did i have i had soft pastels i had gouache watercolor neo color twos ink tints blocks i threw everything at all of these this one is from the same park and again, just kind of capturing things, not just straight in front of me, things that I knew were around the corner or things like that. That one turned out fun too. For me, these kinds of things are about just getting notes, taking notes, and um, I actually sat like right here one day, right by this canoe launch building, which was fun. I love this one too. There were some fun purple flowers. Here's another one. One day I went out to capture a bunch of people the day before were on canoes and I thought, ooh, I want to capture that, but then I only had one person go by, so there was that. <laughs> and then one day I was already tired and at the end thought I would just capture trees around the lake. All right, let's move on to the sketchbooks. I did a lot of sketches. Here was one just in a pencil of a goose that was just kind of getting warmed up. I loved how these, let me get all this out, ducks turned out. 
I'm gonna do some paintings of some really big ducks because I loved how these turned out and they were just super fun to do. I didn't really care for this guy as much, uh, but his little stripey things were super fun to do. Oh no, this is the one that I didn't really love. Something about, he kind of looked angry. And then I had to go to a meeting and decided to just sketch um, the building that was in front of me and the trees while we had the meeting. So that was fun. Oh yeah, and then also Grady's gonna build some new steps to get into the Airstream. And so we did dimensions and I drew the steps for him. <laughs> I love this duck too. Something about his face, super sweet. I'm gonna use this guy, one of the others, as like reference to paint either a big one um, from or something like that. And another duckaroo. I think that's it from the sketchbook, yeah. Okay, let's see. I've got a lot of paintings I feel like I haven't showed you guys. This is not from our camping trip, but this is from another um, session at the park one day. I probably don't need to get into showing you those because then I'll get distracted. Okay, this is from the trip. This is from the lake at our campground. I feel like I didn't show you the close-up of that water. Got a lot of like really fun marks and stuff in there. And then the clouds. I feel like the um, sky turned out really nice in that too. This is one of my favorites from that other park. I tried to just pack everything in. Oh yeah, I did get some canoers. Yeah, I really like how that turned out. another one I didn't get to finish this I think rain was coming and I didn't get to finish the clouds but um, I think it turned out fine the ducks ended up being kind of ginormous too compared to the bridge I guess basically we had like monster ducks at the <laughs> at the lake <laughs> and then lastly let's see I really liked how this one turned out too. The dock turned a little dark on me when I used my fixative. It was a little bit lighter and brighter pink, but that's okay. Still, I felt like there was a lot of movement and moodiness. And this one, I could have taken a little further, but can't remember why it, oh I think the storm clouds started coming so I packed up real quick and I think I just have this one left to show you I think that may be it feels like there should be more but yeah and then this was the last one we have a big pile of like big trees all back here all piled up so I tried to capture that in several of these um Again, just a lot of color and movement. That down tree right there, I was like obsessed with any down trees because their limbs were really cool. So that's it. I think you can tell I had a lot of fun and created a lot of work. Guys, I've been sitting here wetting these and I didn't press record. <laughs> Okay, let me, I've already gotten all the way to over here, bummer. Okay, let me tell you some of what I've been saying. So the way these are wetting is absolutely stunning. These are re-wetting in like mind-blowing ways and the textures that you get, these are so costly. They are expensive pastels, no doubt. But what you get for the money, for the size, the colors in their natural, they're just mind blowing. I cannot get over how gorgeous they are. If I had received this set, I would not have bought any other pastels. Like this is, a, it's just a different universe. The naturalness of the colors are just, I don't, 
Oh, they're just absolutely beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful set. I cannot believe I wasn't recording. I just don't do that very often where I mess that up. <sighs> I mean, these are probably going to be the only thing I take out with me because they're so nice. When you wet them, it's like it seals them. Let's see what this looks like. Mm. Wow. I, I, I don't know. I just don't know what to say because the colors are just so beautiful. I think this light green I would use as like a white. I'm not much of a pink person, but this pink is so stinking gorgeous. And... Um, just natural like there's just a beautiful naturally naturalness whatever okay y'all like what are you saying let me see if some of these have dried i want to see what it's like to go back over yep amazing of course that's what it's like to go over they smoosh and blend beautifully this is going to be like a one-stop show for me like to be able to just take these out with me Whew, doggy i mean i don't know what to say i i just feel like i've i i just can't i don't know what to say they are absolutely amazing this was the only one that was a little underwhelming i really like the color it is a little purpley but i do have oh there it goes maybe it just had a little bit of a coating on it it seemed like it was a little scratchy gosh I mean, I just don't know what to say except, uh, wow. <laughs> wow, and thank you. I feel like I can't stop. Like, I keep wanting to keep try them. And this is not even, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not even dry yet. And that's going over that so beautifully. I just feel like you can get so many different techniques. You can get dry. You can lighten something easily. And the way, the size that they are, I thought I was going to do these, like, in thirds. But I kind of like the way I'm gripping it. Amazing. Uh, thank you, Jean. I mean, thank you. Does not cut it. Does not cut it. I'm putting these down on my um, thing right here, and they did not feel delicate. So that's nice. They don't feel delicate. In fact, I think I'm going to be nervous about breaking them. Should we break one together? Because I know I'm going to break them. Let, let's just break it and see. I'm trying to decide, though. Should I do? Let me wipe my hands off. Trying to decide if I should do third or halves. Oh, feels like such a big decision. <laughs> Thirds or halves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna try for third. Oh, nice. That broke nice. I think I'm gonna go for half for thirds because they'll feel like they last longer. I'm going to put together a little travel kit for me, a studio kit, and then I'll have that third little block as like extra. This was amazing. That is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I gave you a good long one with art supplies and fun paintings. So I hope you like the paintings. If there are any that are just on individual pieces of paper, not in my sketchbook, they will be for sale. So you can just let me know. Message me over on Instagram, email me from my website, or leave a comment here and let me know how I can get in touch with you, and we'll make it happen. All right, I'll see you back here next week. Bye, guys. We are on the road. Wow, looking at this hair here. Um, we are on the road to go camping. We're very excited. Cooper is back there living his best life. He loves being in the truck, loves going camping we got him in the car without incident for the truck. So I wanted to show you what I've got for the travel to the campsite art stuff because I have some, brought some stuff to like do. So let me show you. Okay, first off I have a piece of cardboard for my table. Brought my color pencils because I've been adding to my color pencils and I've not been updating my little swatch sheets. So I thought I'd redo those, which I thought would be a fun little thing to do for the trip. So I've got two ways I've got to decide how I want to do it. <laughs> Don't make me fall asleep. Okay. Um, I've brought extra bigger pieces of paper for bigger swatches. But then remember this, if y'all saw last week's video where I chopped off this top part of a sketchbook. I was also thinking this could be nice 
or would this be nice to just like it'd be kind of fun for things that I see along the road draw so I haven't decided but I have that and then I also brought my watercolors because I thought that would be fun with my water pen to just sketch things that I see so that's all of the things that I can do on our drive Koopy's definitely not awake. He is out like a light.